In some flood-related news, the devastation caused by flooding as a result of the spillage of the Akosombo Dam has left in its wake the possibility of a disease outbreak. Now, the Ghana Red Cross Society is calling for the fumigation of structures affected by the floods before these victims are allowed back into their homes. City News' Ni Ayukwe Okain reports. Recent days have witnessed a distressing scene unfold across portions of the Volta and Greater Accra regions in Ghana as excess water from the Akosombo Dam, managed by the Volta River Authority, spilled over resulting in a catastrophic situation. Subsequently, numerous residents have been displaced with submerged homes, schools, hospitals and farmlands bearing witness to the devastation left in the wake of this natural disaster. The affected communities have been enduring weeks of hardship, grappling with the challenges of relocation and the devastation of their property. The inundation of crucial community infrastructure has further exacerbated the distress, extending the scope of disruption far beyond material losses. Nevertheless, amidst this calamity, a glimmer of hope has emerged as various entities have come forward to extend their support. Corporate bodies and compassionate individuals have united, providing relief materials and medical aid to alleviate the suffering of those impacted. Solomon Gayoni, the Secretary General of the Ghana Red Cross Society, has stressed the crucial need to prioritize the health and safety of the affected individuals. In the wake of a generous donation of 100,000 Ghana cities from the Rotary International District, 9104, Gayoni has proposed a preemptive measure to fumigate all affected structures before the relocation of the victims. This measure is aimed at protecting the health of the individuals and communities, thereby minimizing potential health risk and preventing the spread of diseases. For now, the, the needs that we have or the gaps that we have uh, identified, I'm saying gaps because some people have already been into those areas. Yes, food items are still very important because uh, food is uh, a consumable something. Once you give them, they consume and it gets depleted. It's a problem. Hygiene is highly, highly, highly needed because uh, this uh, water actually flooded homes and there were latrines, there were uh, public latrines, there were roughage dams, there. so the water is highly contaminated. Yes, they will, we also need a lot of health. One of the things that most of the people have go, who have gone to the forest have not thought about is fumigation. This water, this water has taken over schools, houses, and all those around. And as it rains, it leaves the pathogens on the walls and the surfaces. The best thing to do before these people get back into their uh, habitat is to make sure that a fumigation is done, at least to kill the gems. Uh, is one of the areas, one of the gaps that we have seen. As they are sleeping outside, mosquito nets are very important because they are going to be bitten by mosquitoes, so there is going to be an increase of malaria. There is uh, typhoid, intestinal infections are all things that we anticipate to happen. So a medical response is also in the right direction. Then we also talk about a shelter. We have already provided some shelter kits to them already, but the numbers are quite huge. Uh, I'm reading 35,000 people have been displaced. And getting shelter for at least even a half of this is a huge responsibility on the Red Cross.